the second. Time. I I, th- I think one. G- I agree with you on all those points. I think the one good thing that they have about it is it does kind of allow them to have a strong dual lane support with the Weaver. He can try to zone uh, slaughter with Thrower at least. Boots whatever he wants to go for. Just getting that early rain drops makes big difference when you suddenly have 150 gold that you otherwise wouldn't normally get. I'm gonna make a bit of a go here on the mid lane. Sentry's down, so Jabs will see this coming, but uh, it's questionable how much he can do in reaction there. RTP's coming through. The rest of the team trying to turn up and help him out. Jabs will be dropped though. First blood picked up by XZ. He's trying to get himself out as well on the Ricky. Jumps across. The bug is on him though. He's not going to be able to get it off in time. XZ will fall in return. Victoria also taken down as well as XY. It was a clean up, a double kill in return for, for the fact that LGG did find that first blood by the end of the day. And so already reaching onto level four. Has a nice chunk of money on top of the Blightstone. He um, needs to do well too because yeah. Deuce is going to have all the time where she needs to catch up. She's struggling on CS so. That's a big problem for them. Top man black in a bit of trouble there. Actually getting the wrap around and Arme jumping in with Jazing. They've found one. Can they actually get a second? That's the question. Actually, actually in fact, yeah. Jakuchi's still on cooldown, of course, just level one. So they will pick up both the kills that LGD sending four up to the top lane and crushing the safe lane of Faceless. A lot of ways they can catch them themselves. I mean, if maybe he's able to come in and set up with an Astro, there's potential for a kill here, maybe. With Invis Rune, being able to close the gap very nicely. That's going to allow Jijing to come in with the follow-up crush. Have they got the damage to bring him down, though? He'll have a Firefly ending. That'll do it. Beautiful timing there from LGD, realizing that the Firefly was coming to the end, striking at the opportune moment and taking down Ice Ice Ice. Reliably get farm, but Jabs just has been forced back into the jungle. He can't lane against the OD right now, and... This is a big concern for, for Faceless. Down bottom, XY coming to interrupt this, but they've got ice on him here, and XY is in a lot of trouble. He's taken down for that play. Ice 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 has come in with the lasso, trying to do something about Jijing, who's desperately getting himself away with the stick charges in the back of Victoria. Jijing should be fine. Oh boy, he messes up. He yeah. goes back into the Firefly. Bit of a misplay there from the Slada, costing him his life. Uh, LGD are making sure that they could try and find the favorable chair, but Ice Ice Ice, he seems to be outplaying them. He's got a double kill. Oh, May falling low as well in the Firefly, will jump across and finally finish off Ice Ice Ice. But a little bit of a mess there from LGD as they lose two heroes lives in the attempt to take down Ice Ice Ice. And indeed LGD very much looking to fight him nuts. He'll show himself. Yeah, he'll scout him out. That sentry ward will uh, see the rookie as well. Puts down the... Uh, there we go, sentry on both sides. Now he's going to make a go in onto the Ogun with the amplified damage. As tanky as he is, he's still almost certainly going to melt. That Astral will finish him off. Oh, from the rookie here as they hold their position in the midst of it all, but they're looking to surround the Slada. Jijing will be taken down in return. Jabs is going to be able to find Exe as well as he turns up to the fight to back up the rest of his side of Faceless. And they will take the trade. A two for one. Oh, so nice jumping forward. Bit of a missed time there with the Astral and the Blink, and LGD kind of falling into disarray around this fight, backing off, not wanting to, to get too close. And, uh, oh, okay. But well, XZ's made quick work off. He does Shikuchi up to the high ground, but they have a sentry there ready and waiting for him, and a quick crit from Arme will finish off the old bug. Uh, the main thing is not losing it, since uh, there's going to be a, a big, that's a big gold swing if you buy the gem and give it to the other team and they can get huge value out of it. Yeah, and they're back into the pit here, Face is trying to finish this one off. They've got to be careful. Jijing has got the blink of the crush. Jumps to get the two-man crush off immediately in response to Ice 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 with the lasso, but it's taken off. Victoria with a false promise onto Exe. Jijing trying to get himself out of the damage from the drought. Looks to be nearly too much. He's kept alive. That the fate team stopping the damage. He survives and his face is losing three as maybe is turned up and absolutely pounding them to pieces. They've got the Astral onto Ice Ice Ice. He's stuck in the cloud. Double kill for maybe as LGD take down four and move back into the pit. And some very, very nice play there from Victoria, keeping both Jijing and Exe alive with that Oracle performance. Versus PA because she has great burst damage potential. But if you ignore the OD, he starts uh, stacking up the, in- the stolen int in a fight. That Sandy's Eclipse is just going to oh, win you the game. Salt lane, Exe scouting out. He's down, Exe versus X1. Scaling more levels, more guaranteed farm as the, the game goes on. And it doesn't feel like LD under oh. a amount of pressure. Ice 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 that coming in with a bit of an ambitious blink just to clear the wave and immediately LGD pounce on him in return. That was a bit of a strange blink forward there from us. Yep. That's really the big team fight ultimate of oh, Faceless. Uh, with no stone gaze, they're like, sweet, let's go. This is really a good time to take a free tower. Then they fall back and defend oh. the tower. Oh, that's why. He has been spotted out here. That Astral, yeah, beautifully done there by maybe he, the Astral caught in mid time lapse animation. It goes splat and maybe just continues to have this pretty much flawless game. 405, insane level of farm here to have a 27 minutes in. And well, mid lane LGD 
Are you sure the pain doesn't stop for Faceless? A quick jump in. And Faceless have to be careful now. Faceless are looking to just play for that late game. They'll be able to defend their high ground pretty well. Uh, with the Medusa on the front lines with Stone Gaze. Ice Ice Ice, once he gets a four staff, he's getting picked off though for uh, now. He needs that four staff. XZ jumping in. By the four staff. Just shing. He had the money. Back up. Yeah, the Firefly gave him the money for it, but didn't manage to buy it in time. Oh, maybe Black's turning it around though. Yeah, yeah, he should be able to get Jishing actually by the way. Oh no, the smoke screen. Oh. JK, uh, don't have detection though for Black. Black will be able to shadow blade as well. Jab's going for the Stone Gaze. TP out. He will make it. I think XY really wants to finish the Ag Scepter on Weaver. That's going to be his kind of game-changing item. He's got the Ogre Club. I just don't see a BKB really making that big a difference as much as it's a nice item against an OD. Mm, so size. Getting a good grab here on Tame. Let's see if they've got the damage to bring him down. They'll have to do it twice, of course. He's already down to half health, but Victoria's there in the neighborhood. And as we're seeing, we just... Doesn't even need the false promise. Yeah. The damage is not there, and in fact, they want to jump back in it's on the side of it. They found Black Black immediately initiated on the Sanity Eclipse coming through. XY out of mana has to get himself away from this fight. They've lost one. Nuts is trying for the TP out. It's not going to be successful as I with the crit chops him down. Yeah. So, so, so maybe seeing if you can get a jump in Lasso. Back off cooldown. If he can start the fight here with something big, it'll be pretty. Pretty it, it, absolutely paramount for them to get a defense. There's the jump, and it's a good one. They grab the Oracle, but immediately Arme's there to back the Oracle. Jumps in, chops him down. The Ricky coming through as well, forcing FL to split. Arme jumping forward, looking for X, Y. He's trying to get more out of this for the turnaround. Potentially there for Faces as they turn, take their attention towards Arme, bring him down once. And they bring him down a second time, that's the question, and the answer probably is not. And they go to, to get X, either. Ah, false promise for Victoria. They're in time with the urn. On and the heel should be enough. He blinks away. Jabs moving forward with the stone gate. Trying to catch some more stragglers of LGD. It looks like their heels weren't enough at the end of the day for XZ. Ricky to fall. XY continuing to chase down looking for Victoria. And they're still in the neighborhood. XY, he can play around with this. Has a time lapse as well. Oh, Ame jumps in with the bash, but he did cast Shikuchi off in time. Only getting back just up there in the fade time. Now playing that LGD role where it's defending your high ground for as long as possible in the hopes that your carries can those late game core items oh, they need. But talking about carries and late games, Jabs is getting absolutely hammered on by maybe. Black will turn up and actually looking to turn, but Jing's there, jumps in with the man crush. Ice 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 turning up as well. It's a bit of a full scale fight though, Zame continues to focus his attention towards Jabs. Jabs falling low, actually Jabs survived last bit of time finally goes down there as Ame jumps forward and now Black and Ice 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 potentially in trouble as well. Black trying to get himself out into the safety of the trees. They're not safe at all as LGD move in, claim a second. Yeah, it's just LGD bringing the numbers they needed. Oracle shows up in time to help the OD out and that short cooldown on Astral uh, allowing them to have the uptime they needed. Faceless couldn't bring in the numbers. They didn't have the damage to burst down the OD in the last. So the false promise was actually a cooldown, oh. but didn't really matter. And just pick up to pick for LGD. XZ. Weaver hasn't been able to, to finish an item either, so suddenly LGD, this time around they will break through the high ground, they will get the melee racks in. They need some big here faceless. And it's gonna be so hard as well. Maybe he's just picked up a full AC. He's got so much armor. Yeah. That's absolutely absurd. He recognizes the threat. The only way he dies is physical damage. Oh, Wanji Xing following through again. XZ's jumping. They get the two man crush. Jazz will move forward with the stone gaze. LGD back up for the time being. They get a good dust onto XZ. Take down one, Arme, and the daggers again, will blink forward onto Nuts. Yijing again coming in on the top with a two-man crush. Ice 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 will have the last one to maybe, but Victoria's there with the false promise, saving him. Ice 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 taken down. It's a painful trip back to base. It's faceless again, losing three. It will be back up again by the looks of it for one more fight, but they've already lost the full set of ranks up top. It looks like they will lose the mid one as well. And potentially one more fight in it for them, but not if they lose the Medusa like this. They immediately jump in for Jijing. Arme, the sanity eclipse from maybe hammering down onto Faces' his head. Gaps yeah, just could never finish his core items. He ends the game with 4k GG. gold, but he has Lincoln's Yasha at 35 minutes in. That's not going to cut it. Uh, obviously, he could have had like the Manta style or Duel's very good against it. That's the downside. Legion's mm. really good against Slark in that way, but... But if Slark is ganking other heroes, it's fantastic. Hey. Oh, there you go. Twitter another, question another asker. SF picked not only previously, but also in this game for you. Well, I'm again. Ice Ice comes in with the purification and such. And this is it's not stopping our farming. That's the main thing here. And well, top lane, yeah, there we have it. That is your first, but a bit of an underestimate there. The damage, the new damage that Jijing can get out with that.
mean, but this style is uh, something we're seeing a lot from the Chinese team. On top, Legion is now without the eye. Going, yeah, they want to try and take advantage of that. Can actually take advantage of it. Yeah. Got one point in the heal. Will it be enough? Already the jump forward from Black. She's being brought low. Has the stick charges. Tries to run away with the bonus movement speed. The fair fire as well. Is it enough? No, it's not. Not quite enough to keep him alive there. So Faceless will find themselves their first kill on the board. A spell that helps you farm faster than Moonglaive. So, yeah, it's it's a really smart build coming out from Ame. And... I think LGD can just tell by the field this game. They're oh, winning the battle. And top lane immediately onto Black. They drop the rock down as well. LGD there in full force. Side 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 is TP to cross, trying to do something about this one. Jab standing up to the fight as well. Have to be a little bit careful though, face this. I'll see if they are actually able to punch back. Overwhelming odds. That'll catch both heroes. So this push onwards from LGD. I mean, very hard for, for Faces to stop. Jabs is going to come back across. So spot out Victoria Jijing as the jewel. We'll see if he's able to use it. Good raises here from maybe getting massive amounts of damage out onto Faces. Then force back Jijing, finds the jewel on the perfect target. Gets the Omni Knight. Ice 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 is down. They move in for more, taking down Jabs. Nuts hiding himself in the trees. Maybe he's searching for him with these raises. The balls <laughs> flying just above the nuts. But oh. <laughs> Get, no, got there's no. contact! <laughs> oh. They get another. I oh. mean, this is it's, it's, it's already looking... Will force a very bad fight. I just don't see... It. The ideal way to take the fight is you've got to burst that wall or take the rock out of the picture, but to do so, you're fighting into an Eclipse, into a Requiem, and Ooh, Luna's about to be and Jijing immediately jumps in, looking for the duel onto the OD there. Comes the Golem as well on the backline of it all with the Eclipse. Uh, OD is able to force himself away and survive. And turn the tension towards Ice Ice Ice. And so I will have a nice blast back. Black even wants to try and back in on this one. Closes down so maybe, maybe ripping up the old Black, taking a huge amount of damage, and he's dead! The Requiem and the raise to the base, bringing down Black, punishing his over-aggression there and his, his hunger to get stuck back in. Things where it's like, well, we've got to fight now or we don't fight at all, and well, now you you force the fight, you lose it, suddenly you're losing Elena Rax, and... Dare I say it, it's GG right about now, his faceless are going to have... Lunar Glaze bouncing all around their base. They'll lose a lane of racks in 20 minutes in, and the comeback potential for this lineup is almost gone. Oh, and just jumping in, duel after duel. Yeah. And it's more bonus damage in the pocket for him, plus 34. They fall back. They did this without Rose. Yeah, that, that's the big thing. I mean, they can, yeah. Duel and Faceless are in all sorts of trouble. Uh, Jijing in the trees, ready for the jump through, and immediately is there. On to the Keeper of the Light. There'll be a five luck to try and slow down the onslaught, but. That's not going to save the call. Jijin getting the bonus damage. Two heroes to full on faceless. Opening up potential for LGG to take a tier two and almost certainly move in for more. There'll be a buyback from the call. See what's there because he knows he's got backup from an IO from a, a Warlock Rock. Just went in blind. Good play. Good calling from the team. Backing each other up. LGD have uh, got their second lane of Brax now. Um, uh, Jab's trying to do his best to, to stop this, but maybe immediately coming forward and just the damage he's pounding out with the Diffuser Blade. Not a lot that Ice 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 do to hold back yep. what the Shadow Fiend is, is enforcing on FL. More wards, they are looking to guarantee the win. Black, scouring things out here with the Shadow Blade, but... I mean, can he really do something? He's looking towards trying to jump onto Victoria, immediately focusing down the IO, pops the Shadow Dance, tries to finish him off, and will get the kill, but immediately on the back lines, the duel for Jiji is there onto Jabs. They've lost the OD, Ice 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 will go for the repel, GA and CD out will make it away. The problem is those kind of trades where you trade a core for a support aren't really that valuable. If you trade a core for a core, that's actually okay for Faceless because you get so much gold for it. They'd probably get like 1500 gold, maybe even 2k gold for killing this Luna or SF because of how far ahead they are. And good Jijing actually looking towards Black Going and oh by himself <laughs> yeah why Black not? he nearly survives with the Shadow Dance but Victoria just relocates him with the balls and uh, he just disappears maybe gets off the boom will be popped by the Sanity's Eclipse Jijing jumping in trying to finish off Jabs actually gets relocated out and that's gonna mean they can't quite finish off the kill on the OD. Very big problem for them, but I like this smoke move. They're going out there like we're five v four. Are we ever gonna have a better chance? Probably not. Let's go now. Let's go fast. I'll see where they can find it. Black leading the way, repelled up. Oh, man, coming in with a mad style, the Eclipse as well. No, pops there to the beams, flying down from the skies. High side size to be dropped as well. Black was able to finish off the Warlock on the back lines of it all. The Jijing setting up with the BKB, looking towards Jabs. Isn't actually going to go for that as Arme turns his attention towards Black of the Slot. Black has the Shadow Dance, Arme being brought down low. Jabs is going to get dropped though. Arme suffice. Victoria turns up in time to top the Luna back up. Black's on his way back to base.
but the rest of his teammates are down. Black do anything here on his own. He doesn't have the Shadow Dance. He will jump in for a couple of touches on Arme. With the evasion and the armor he's got because of the Agi, it's all too much for Faceless. GG is called an LGD turning up today, uh, showing us a very, very strong performance. A lot of people anticipated this team coming in at last minute.